Hey everyone, and welcome back to Drone U HQ. If you are here to learn about how to create the fastest ortho mosaic possible, you're in the right place. Utilizing the Wingtra One Gen 2 and the full frame camera from Sony, the RX1R Mark II, I'm going to show you exactly how to create the absolute fastest ortho mosaics possible. Because the Wingtra drone has a PPK antenna, what we can do is go to opus.noaa.gov and download the Rhinex data, which is essentially GPS data from the nearest cores tower. Once we have that Rhinex file, we can import that file into Wingtra Hub and then take our photos, put it into Wingtra Hub as well. And right now I'm gonna show you how to process that data for the fastest ortho mosaic possible. Now, it may not be the best ortho mosaic as you'll probably get better results out of things like Pix40 Mapper, Pix40 Matic for more than a few thousand images, site scan or drone deploy. But at least here, if you're working in emergency management, if you're working for FEMA, if you're working in public safety, if you're working in a disaster area and you want the absolute fastest geo reference ortho mosaic possible, this is how to do it. Now, typically when using Pix40 React, you have no way to import GCPs, no way to mark GCPs, and no way to have ground control points at all. But because the Wingtra 1 Gen 2 with Wingtra Hub is actually taking the PPK data and slapping it on the back end of those photos so that those photos have highly accurate geotags on the back end of the photos. So let's go ahead and process it in Pix4D React for a live processing time just to show you what to expect. So I'm gonna open up Pix40 React. Okay, so bottom right corner, I'm gonna go ahead and click new project. I'm gonna import the images from our output folder. And this is right here by the drone U offices. So notice I'm importing the data right now. It's reading the EXIF information, also known as geotags. And remember, normally in Pix40 React, you cannot import GCPs. So the fact that we have highly accurate EXIF data is kind of overriding the fact for ground control points. Now, if you're working in surveying or engineering or anything that requires high level of precision, this is still probably not gonna be sufficient. And the only reason is, is because the you'll see that the ortho mosaic stitching is not going to be the best. Pix40 React typically only works with a single grid automated flight plan. It typically only works with well, a Nader camera orientation. Luckily we have both those today. You can actually see our flight plan here. Let's go ahead, bottom left corner, we're gonna click start processing. And I don't have much storage left on this mapping computer. Glad I bought a new one. Which by the way, if you haven't checked out our brand new mapping course, we have two mapping courses. We've got our desktop based processing class where we go over Pix40 Mapper, Matic and React. We also have our cloud based class, which is going over site scan. If you're not familiar with Esri site scan, well, you should be because if you work in any government contracting state or local governments or working for anyone doing government work, then you're going to want to use site scan simply because the integration with ArcGIS is superior to any other mapping platform. It's simple and it's easy for a one click share into ArcGIS that way you can compare legacy government data against the new drone data. It is a master hack. And if you're in mapping and you like making the big dollars, you got to check out that class. Also, we've got a brand new class for construction mapping and media deliverables, where we go over shooting panos, gathering 3D models, 2D ortho mosaics, shooting hyperlapses and getting basic video as well. So if you want to check out all those courses, they're brand new to drone you check them out here, go to learn.thedroneu.com and you can actually check out those classes and so much more as we've updated even our part 107 and most of our new core classes. As you can see here, even while I was yapping my trap, we are already 55% of the way done. Can you believe that? This is so great too. If you're on a construction site and you say, hey, do you have pilots flying your stuff? Do you need information and access to that information in real time? Do you have a methodology of tracking progress on your project? Because if you don't, then you know something is gonna go wrong. Whether you need to track progress, permanent record of installation, whether you need to audit material deliveries, or whether they just simply need a good map for OSHA compliance and for safety, and to see if their materials are actually on site and haven't been stolen, you can produce a rapid ortho mosaic for that contractor in under 10 minutes. And it's a great way to say, well, if you have a drone pilot, are you getting your data before they leave the site in 10 minutes? Because I can do that. 
with PixWord React. It may not be, again, the best ortho mosaic, but it's a rapid ortho mosaic generator. You can annotate the maps, draw areas, draw lines, have simple measurements. Really, this is a public safety tool, but can be used for visual communications as a whole. Even as I continue to yap my trap, we're already 67% done. Can you believe that? And we're only seven minutes into this video. So that being said, as you can see, this is much faster, less accurate, but very, very fast. So let's see, as we uh, are almost done processing here at 75%, which is fantastic. This is honestly an amazing program. Also, if you're in events, if you work events, if you're in film, scouting locations, you need to plan stuff, maybe you work for convention centers or outdoor spaces, and you wanna sell advertising space or conference booth space, this is a very amazing and effective methodology of actually going in, mapping the area. You can even draw boxes for areas and showcase what is available for event space. I've honestly used pix React for landscaping. It is one of my favorite tools for landscaping because I can very easily measure how much material I'm gonna need, aggregate material, compost, anything that's gonna go on the ground. So if I need a basic idea of square footage for how much material to order, this will produce it. And there we go, we are done with the actual production itself of the ortho. You can kind of see where the base map is layered. Notice that our map aligns perfectly with the background map, which is great. You can see here that we've got some squiggly lines, so it's not really the best reconstruction, which is why I said it's not the most accurate. But if I were to actually export this TIFF, so layers, GeoTIFF, just the visual, I can actually export the TIFF, and then we can import that anywhere we want to select folder, mapping stuff, select folder. And now we are exporting this GeoTIFF. This way you could actually verify the overall geo-referenced accuracy, but remember this is more for visual communications. And when you are exporting this, honestly, I typically like to add some annotations and export it via PDF. So there we go, there's our actual GeoTIFF itself. Let's say that I wanna showcase, um, just how long the drive is from the street to the aggregate pile. I can do that and showcase that length of 473 feet, save it as a marker, entrance, path to aggregate. I can also draw an area so I can say, oh, hey, look, it's the drone U offices. I wonder how big that area is and it's about four and a half acres. I can save that as drone U footprint. Cool. Now, if I wanna export this in a PDF, a simple PDF report, don't need to include elevations, click export, and we're gonna call this YT React. Boom. So you can see here, it actually produces that PDF quite quickly. And voila, we've got a compass rose, top right corner. We've got the name of our project the overall ground sampling distance as a whole, which is 0.392 inches. We can see our map center. We can also see that this was still processed in WGS 84. So it's not gonna be in a state plane coordinate system if you are trying to produce rapid ortho mosaics that are in the correct geo-reference coordinate system. This is not the answer. But you can see we've got our area measurement, our line measurement, and we can actually see those actual measurements in real time. And this is the fastest way to create a rapid ortho mosaic and visual communications. To learn more about drone mapping, then you've got to check out the drone mapping courses at thedroneu.com. I'll see you next time.